before you watch this video, just make sure you subscribe to the, our channel, like this video, because you're gonna like it. And yeah, thanks for doing that. All right, this is Megan with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we are talking about all birds. Flyer. Flyer. You're the flyer. She called it the flyer. I think it is the flyer. <laughs> it's all birds the flyer? <laughs> I think so. All right. all right. Anyways, so we don't know the name of this shoe. I'm gonna call it the Tesla Cybertruck of shoes, <laughs> as you can see from this amazing geometric design. I gotta say, it's pretty cool looking. I yeah. don't, I don't hate the look. Well, like a Tesla, that's supposed to be sustainable, good for the environment, and whatnot. So yeah, you think they maybe they're gonna do a partnership at some point? Mm, I can see Elon Musk getting behind this. I mean, you buy a Tesla, get a free pair of shoes with your car. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> do you know they're like charging for like <laughs> the the charger that you like use for your car to charge it? No. It's like a portable charger where you can like plug it into an outlet and they're like charging people for it now. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the flyer from Allbirds. Yeah. All right, we're starting with the upper. Yeah. I want to give a little background. Can I give a little background? All right, give a little okay. background. So I've been reviewing the Allbirds shoes just out of curiosity and because it's a running shoe that I thought we should maybe review. And it's kind of lifestyle more -ish. Yeah, yeah. So it's always interesting to me when there's like lifestyle brands trying to make a running shoe and seeing if it works. Mm -hmm. So Allbirds has released the Tree Dash and Tree Dasher 2. Um, and by the way, I did not really like like those shoes. They were shoes that you could maybe wear for a couple miles, but I think the last Tree Dasher I got some pretty bad hot spots after like three miles. But yeah, but now we have the Flyer, which is like their whole new actual running shoe. Yeah, they, they, they're promoting it as like a 10K, like up to the 10K distance shoe. It's definitely intended for performance and less of that lifestyle. Yeah, so, and I gotta say, they made some changes to the shoe. By the way, I do like them, so I, let's get into it. Yeah, this was my first experience with the Allbirds and right on step in, I was like, expecting not greatness from mm -hmm. your past review and i really liked it i was like this is comfortable the upper fits well i just i really enjoyed the step and feel even in the past the uh, tree dasher was super comfortable but it had some huge issues as a running shoe mainly because the upper was like the same as their lifestyle shoes so as you could see the tree dasher was like wider had like a lot of room in this upper had these cheerio lacing thing, I don't know what I, what you call it. Cheerios are like life preservers. They didn't preserve my feet, so I guess they're Cheerios. Cheerios it is. <laughs> and so they made a lot of changes to the to the upper for, for the flyer. So instead of the Cheerios, you get like a flat reflective uh -huh. thing. Uh, Eyelets, I believe they're called. Whatever. Yeah, things. Um, you have flat laces now instead of the round laces, uh -huh. which by the way, what do you think about the laces? Uh, they don't say tied. Whatever this lace fabric thing they use was a mistake. I'll yeah. say that. Yeah. I double knot all my shoes Same. and on every single run I was stopping to re-tie them and, and tighten them up. However, this upper, super comfortable and very, very stretchy. So like I have a wider foot, no issues here. Now the upper is made from a eucalyptus tree fiber. So all the koala bears out there, Ayo. You're, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna love this shoe to eat. And you might not be able to run in it because you will have eaten the upper. But, and it's a, Expensive meal at one hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred and sixty. This is one hundred and sixty. I did not know that much money. All right, <laughs> carry on. But anyway, so then you do have like some support in the heel here, which is pretty sturdy and firm. And I was kind of worried I might get some rubbing there, but I actually didn't have any issues. I, I thought the same thing. I was like, that's a pretty firm piece yeah. back there. The overall fit of the upper again, really nice. Yep. Loved it. Let's move on to the midsole. So got? this is a brand new foam and it's called Swift Foam. Apparently it's 30% lighter than the previous foam they were using in the tree, what the tree dasher. tree dasher. So it's lighter. I found it to be actually surprisingly bouncy and eh, kind of, I wouldn't say light, but you know, it didn't feel like real, real heavy underfoot. And it was just, it was way more responsive and enjoyable than I was expecting. Yeah. And as a past tree dasher wear, Coming to this shoe, again, a little bit skeptical. This, the Tree Dasher felt a little flat. It was like, okay, but um, 
but I was pretty surprised at how much I like this midsole, especially because it is made from castor beans. It's, you know, all birds and their sustainability. And a lot of companies try to do that uh -huh. and really <laughs> don't Doesn't do a great work. job with yeah. it. And I, I found this to be really nice to run in. Yeah, I mean, I did feel like, it feels like you have one slab of foam underfoot, but you do. Yeah. Um, and But it's, it's not that bad. And yeah, I think, especially if you're talking five even up to ten miles maybe no more than that in this shoe it's it works fine yeah and you have a pretty decent amount of foam here so you have 30 and a half in the heel 20 in the forefoot for an eight and a half millimeter drop 22 in the forefoot 22 yeah. in the forefoot gotcha good math thanks for helping out there yeah yeah and i also like the uh outsole traction on this thing i i can tell you it's good because i was chasing my kids around a <laughs> like a ramp staircase the other day in these shoes and running as fast as I could. And you didn't eat it. No, and I, I actually didn't roll my ankles either, which oh. was nice. Um, but it actually has pretty good grip, like cornering and turnings. And I was, I was taking 180 degree turns in these. Um, it, it does add to the weight a little bit. So this is not the lightest shoe in the world. My women's seven and a half came in at 8.75 ounces, close to nine ounces, which is fairly heavy for a, a women's daily trainer that's 248 grams. Yeah, mine, uh, men's seven and a half was 8.9 ounces and 252 grams. So, but that's actually, I don't think that's too bad. I think it's in the range of like the Pegasus. Like I think All it's right. the same, like close to it. You got a lot of sustainability in this shoe. Arbor's doing its thing. Actually making a shoe that, like you really- They're going can, in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. And if you, if you like Allbirds, you still get that same exact comfort that you always get from your regular Allbirds, but this is like by far the best running shoe they made. I can commonly say if you wanna take this on as a travel shoe, which it's a great travel shoe, it packs down really yep. light. This is a solid all-arounder pick for, yeah, do it all stuff. Yeah, so this shoe will be launching on May 17th. You can get it for $160. Which, <laughs> That's, I don't know, that's a lot, <laughs> I gotta say. I thought it was, I think the other ones are I think like 120. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but I, when I say the, saw 160, I was like, okay, that's, that's getting up there. But I guess you can feel good about your purchase because you're uh, saving the world or something. Yeah. All right, Robbie, what do you, what do you say about this? What's your final? My final is a, is a green. Oh. Green you, for the earth. Do you agree? It's green. Get <laughs> it? it? See what we did there? <laughs> it's green shoe for green light. I'll have to agree with you. I mean, this is not going to be my pick of, it's not going to make the top daily trainers list, but it's a decent shoe. Yeah, and I would like to frame the green in a more lifestyle shoe, uh -huh. convert it to a running shoe category. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Any if, if, uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you like this video. Yeah. Subscribe to us. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, or sometimes on Twitter. Sometimes. Strava Club. Yeah. We have a couple podcasts, uh, The Drop and Fuel for the Soul, so it's check those out. all in the description, and you can pick up the shoot in the description as well. All Any right. Anything else? All right, fly away. <laughs> oh, shoot, hit, hit the microphone. I flew too close to the sun. Oh, jeez. <laughs>